Hi there, my name is Sir Steve, and I am going to be showing you how to set up Archipelago. Uh, today we're going to be doing the Sonic Adventure 2 game, and let's get started. So, first thing you want to do is you're going to want to go to the supported games list here. Now here, you're going to be able to see a bunch of options. The easiest way that I find to find the certain game that you're looking for, just type it in. And you'll see three options, game page, setup guide, and options page. What I'm going to suggest doing is first going to the setup guide. On here, it'll scroll down to whatever game that you are looking for in particular. Select English, if you understand English. And from here, it'll tell you all the requirements that you'll need. First thing that you'll need is the Sonic Adventure 2 Battle game downloaded legally through Steam. DLC is only required if you want to add the Chow Karate locations to the randomizer. Meaning you have to do the Chow Karate stuff in order to get the all the things that you wanted done. Not required, but if you want it, then you have to have the DLC for it. Other required things are the Sonic Retro Mod Loader, Microsoft Visual C++, and Sonic Adventure 2 Archipelago Randomizer Mod. Now. First thing we're going to do is just make sure that we have a legal version of Sonic through the Steam page. Here it is. One thing that you're going to need to do though is you're going to need to know where the file location is for getting the mod pack installed onto it. So I recommend going right click, going to manage, browse local files. This will then show up a file location and I'll be able to add stuff to that later. So we're going to just put that to the side for now. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to install the retro mod loader. On this site, it has a nice little history of what the mod loader does. We're going to go down here to the download link. Click on that. We're going to then download this. We're going to launch it on open. Remember that folder that we just opened up earlier? All that we need to do is just highlight all this, throw it right on in. I already have these installed, so I'm just going to stop that transfer. And now what you'll have is this SA2 mod manager. Click on that. It should look something like this without any of the mods installed. This is going to come into key detail later. What I also recommend doing at this time is you'll have this mods folder open, available. Open that, we're gonna use that in just a second. Go back to here, we're gonna have this Archipelago mod for Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. We're gonna to go to that page. Version 2.3.0 is the last one released. Go to this zip download. Open that on up. And we're going to just take that folder back into this file. We'll just drag it and drop it. Again, I already have that file in there, so I don't need to do anything like that. You will then be able to go back to this launcher and it would show up here. Now, we're going to leave this launcher right here for a second. Because what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to do some configuration settings in here. But in order to do that, we're going to first need to go back to here. And we're going to need to go back to this, not here, but to the currently supported games page. Go back to the Sonic. And we're going to select options. Once at options, we're going to need to put a name here. So let's just use my name, Steve. And these randomized settings are from a previous time that I played. I'm going to go through these slowly so that way you guys can take a look. Again, just some silly stuff asking which missions you want to do, which things you don't want to do, price of certain things, and all that good stuff. With all that said, since we are just doing a single instance of this, we will just select the generate game. If you were to do a bunch of these, you would just do the export options to create a YAMI file. What is a YAMI file or YAML file? That's a YAML file. 
So now we're going to go to generate game. It's going to auto generate. It's going to give us a seed, time created, and even a spoiler log. Spoiler log is just going to have all the information of where everything is. Now we go to create a new room. We're going to give us some important information. These are the key things that you're going to need to know in order to be able to get any of your games connected. First thing is this archipelago GG with this port number. That's going to be needed. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go into this archipelago file. We're going to click on the configure option. We're going to copy this. Go to the server IP and just paste it right on in. Sometimes it likes to have a little space in the beginning. You cannot have that space. And then we go to here. We're going to select the name. And then we're going to hit save. Here, we're then going to hit save. And now we're actually going to have to go into the mod folder one more time. So right click on it, open folder. And we're going to need to run this copy AP bat file. It's going to show a little box in the corner. Gone. What that does is it allows a connection to the archipelago server that's hosting all the randomized stuff. Once that's done, hit save and play. Then Sonic will launch. Now there's going to be this purple text up here that says load a save file to connect. So all we need to do is just load that save file to connect. And then once you see that connected to Archipelago on the le left hand side, you know you're all good. You'll see the options of stage select and cart select, or cart race. And there you go. With that, you'll then be all set to go. I do plan on adding some more videos like these in the future. So hopefully you stick around and I'll keep on making them. Thank you very much for your day. Bye-bye.